Good afternoon. News 8 is your local election headquarters. Today is primary day in New York. All eyes locally on the race for mayor in Rochester and today's Democratic primary. The polls are open until 9 o'clock tonight, and both candidates say voter turnout will be key. Ericetta Cost live in Rochester with a look at that voter turnout so far. Ericetta, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mark. It's been a slow progression for turnout in the morning, but it's noon, it's lunchtime, and I'm definitely seeing more people coming out here right now at the uh, Rochester Academy of Medicine, one of the polling sites. We were able to catch up with Rochester City mayoral candidate Malik Evans as he cast his ballot this morning here. He talked a bit about plans on last-minute campaigning. Quite literally, until the last minute, he plans going door-to-door -door until 8.55 tonight. We're working on chasing down incumbent Mayor Lovely Warren's office as well for Comment. We're told she'll be canvassing all day as well. She already placed her vote on the first day of early voting, and the mayoral race is not the only one you're going to want to keep an eye on. There's also city council, a Monroe County legislature, and county court judges. Voters we spoke to are discussing key areas they want addressed by newly elected leaders, one of them public safety. We were able to get Evan's take on this as well as the voters. Well, I'm thinking about public safety. I'm thinking about the carnage that we've seen on the streets, the bloodshed that has been shed. Um, unfortunately, as a candidate, I have been at two shooting scenes hours before they've happened. And I don't have any answers. I, mean, I know it starts with each one of us, but we have some institutional <laughs> things going on that are just, you know, going to take a lot. Now, Evans has told us his plan for combating violence is declaring a city gun emergency in the city and also uh, providing more programs for youth. Now, Mayor Lovely Warren says she plans on combating violence by empowering already existing uh, organizations against violence as well as more educational opportunities. In Rochester, Erica Cost, News 8. All right, Erica, thank you for the live shot, the live update here at the noon hour. For more on today's primary, check out our primary voter guide. It is online at rochesterfirst.com.